Hi guys, Wolsey here again, um, back with you today. I got my Scentbird subscription, so I thought I would go over this with you um, while I wait for... Um, I just today placed a um, another order that, um, if you watch my Scentsy stuff, then um, obviously that's pretty much what I do <laughs> most of the time, so... Um, who knows, maybe a week or so that'll be in, so if I can get into this. I should have brought scissors. Um, I didn't think it was going to be this hard to get into. Oh my gosh. Okay. So this time, oh. I'm switching things up here. This is interesting. Um... So, as always, you get these cool little cards um, telling you about what scents you got. And then, um, they used to put these in a white packaging, and now it's coming in this. Like, um, kind of like a cardboard, but it's like heavy duty. And it's got like a plastic lid. It's just like over the top. <laughs> I think I liked it better before. It was easy to open. Not sure what they're doing here. Let's see if these are in the. I'm so confused. Okay, so I got um, one in here, and this is the blue case. It's a really pretty blue case. Um, and in here is mine. It's the Michael Germain. Um, Sexual Paris is the name of this one. And um, so this is uh, Every Spritz is a world where a mad par Parisian <laughs> love dances entangled with passion. French black currant veiled with sparkling champagne, clementine citrus. Clementine mixes, sorry, with passion flower and jasmine. Sophisticated amber wows mixed with Parisian natural oils. The only way to get rid of sexual Paris's temptation is to yield it. Um, interesting. So the scent I had his um, sugarful, and it's really good. It's a it's almost like Aqualina pink sugar, but sweeter. It's really good. Um, so I wanted to try this one, and this is scent notes of champagne, clementine, jasmine, patchouli, which sometimes scares me, sandalwood, and amber. So this one's made in the U.S. Um, oh, it's pretty. So it's nothing like the Sugarful, which um, Sugarful is like cotton candy perfume. But this is really pretty. Um, kind of like a powdery musky. Ooh, that's very nice. I don't smell patchouli per se. So I'm loving that. Let's see what is in this one. Because I, I never get two scent cases. So I'm really not sure what's happening. Um, yeah, they gave me another one. Wow. Um, so this is a pretty like turquoise color. Um... And this will be, um, I got two for Dale. So this one is going to be Mercedes Benz Club. Um, and this one says Mercedes Benz Club is a fresh, spicy, and engaging fragrance featuring sparkling sweet citrus over a balanced blend of dry juniper and deeply spiced um, cardamom. Club is refined, memorable, and masculine. And it has scent notes of juniper berries, asparadia, I have no idea, Car cardamom, patchouli, and tonka beans. So that's Mercedes Benz Club. And we've liked so far all of the Mercedes Benz. So I'll be keeping this one. <laughs> Ooh, that's nice too. The, I highly recommend the Mercedes Benz ones. They're really good. They're like fancy. 
Nice. That's so nice. <laughs> and then this one, if I can ever get it out, I have no idea where to do this. This is like impossible. I mean, I can see how you couldn't crush it, but the white ones work just fine. I wonder if I need two cases. Interesting. Um, so this one is Bentley for Men, Black Edition. And this one is In the Opening, a Radiant Accord of Powdery Violet and Tangy Tangerine Feels as Fresh. That ain't no sense. <laughs> um, cool Pink Pepper and Nutmeg add the silvery... Sorry, I had the silvery flash, brightened by a hint of jasmine, the heart of the fragrance unfolds. A smooth patchouli and earthy papyrus. Darker still, the dry down weaves. Uh, cool incense, tobacco scented tonka bean. Interesting. And leather tinged cedar wood atlas on a base of musk and crisp dry woods for Men Black Edition reflects the absolute sophistication of a man who will accept nothing but the best. This is made in France, available at Boss Cobbs. This one's made in France. Nice. So, so far, let's see what this one's like. I have like all these scents in my nose now. That's nice too. Although I think I still prefer the Mercedes Benz, but I like that one. And they're hard to describe, except that that one might make me sneeze a little. It was like in my face. Um, it's similar. They're very sophisticated. Um, if anything, this one kind of reminds me a little bit of like Sensi Zeppelin. Um, it's a typical, like, um, department store type fragrance. Um, this one's super fancy, <laughs> but yeah, he's really going to like those. So that's my separate subscription, you guys. And I love these. Um, it's actually kind of fun to get your man fragrance too, because then they smell good too. Um, and I don't need three a month. <laughs> I can't use that many. So, um, we'll build him up a couple here and then go on to me, but, um, back to me more, I guess. But yeah, it's so much fun. Um, I love seeing like which ones we like the most. Um, and then, you know, you can only get the same fragrance, like, um, this Michael Germain, I can only get this once every six months. So twice a year, you can get the same fragrance, um, unless you have a like couple years worth of um, Q, <laughs> and then you can move them around, and you can actually get them sooner. That's a good way to cheat, <laughs> but um, cheat the system, I should say, and get them more than once every six months. But yeah, that's that's my scent bird subscription. I highly recommend it. We are having so much fun. Um, and then once I get some more colors, um, then I'll probably stop getting the extra cases, but cause you know, you throw these away when they're done and I mean, it's a nice amount of fragrance. It's nice to try fancy stuff. So yeah, I hope that's helpful. You guys, I hope it's fun just peeking at what people get, um, or what they decide to get. And yeah. so um, I do have, for my Scentsy people, I do have um, a Melters Mixers that I'll probably do maybe tomorrow, maybe tomorrow, tomorrow or Wednesday. Um, but yeah, thanks for bearing with me, you guys. I have this room almost completely painted. Um, I just have to put a couple more coats on the door, the bathroom door. Um, otherwise, this room is painted. And I have to paint the entryway out there. So getting there in the very, very top of the stairs, I can't reach. 
I can only reach up so far. So we'll have to figure something out at the top of the stairs, but yeah. So thanks for hanging in there with me. And eventually when things are all done, um, I'll try to give you like a warmer tour or whatever of my stuff down here. Um, so I hope that's fun, but thanks so much you guys and we'll see you soon. Bye.